seconds ago. Rashida, thank you for joining the Patreon. Let's go. Hi in the chat. So, hey, starting off with Bitcoin like we normally always do. And it tested a major inflection point last time. Oh, not major. It's just, it's discernible. It's been regarded. It's been discussed multiple times. It's a daily candle high close, $50,316-ish. That candle high close goes back to March 3rd. And then you have a candle wick that goes March 25th. That's where we are, right? You just regarded the April 26th level as support not once but twice, and you've run to that next level of inflection. And if you ever break that and you're thinking possibly 52,685, but really above 52,685 is 58K. And wow, really strong. I mean, you know, you're gonna be sell orders. Like sell orders exist at levels of inflection, so you, you're not gonna just break it immediately. Sometimes you do. But there is certainly, there is no buyer exhaustion going on right now. None. There is none going on. And then we go to the daily. All you can say is potentially locally hidden bullish divergences and developments. starting his TA journey today. Fresh blood. What's up, Splus? Thanks, man. Yeah, Merrick's all right, dude. Dang, it's hard to believe people are starting from square one in this world that I've been in for a decade plus, man. It's uh, it's been a wild one, and you know, it's just like you're gonna have new people every day. But hey, what separates the new people from the normies is the the effort they put in, the devotion, the time, the patience, but most importantly. The passion. Passion's that secret ingredient I was telling my friend about the keys to success today. So uh, Bitcoin's key to success is not going to be passion. It's going to be bids and not enough supply above 50,316. Look left. This is what I was talking about on the daily. All right. And once that's breached, you understand there's very little to nothing. I mean, overhead resistance, zero resistance till 57,489. Zero. The pinion, pinion guy, right? I mean, come on, we'll just we'll play it. So what he, what he, he wasn't talking about Bitcoin going to zero. He was talking about over, overhead resistance. When it comes out, zero. That's right, when it comes out above 50,316, zero resistance, okay? Nice one, pinion man. So that's, that's Bitcoin. Everything looks good and you're actually locally hidden and pending price action continuation being applied while we're butting up against the last overhead resistance until 58K. Oh my God, it's just like, we're right there, chat. I can imagine if there were like Bollinger Bands, I don't really ever look at Bollinger Bands, but I know what they do, right? You know, the you got the Bollinger Band, the inner band, and then you've got the outer bands. I bet you this these things squeeze in so tight so close together and when you have you know those two outer bands get really close together closer to the middle that means like squeeze of volatility big moves coming well, let's just bring it up for fun i don't know man like I, this is not actionable this is just thinking about it right your bollinger bands what i really like is how if you're talking about emas which is the inner bollinger band it's like an aggregate of emas you're above them like so clearly you're above the 200 simple moving average on the daily you're above everything man. like everything's good right here and yeah you you do have some uh i don't know if they're really that squeezed in but i really like we're on the upper side of the bollinger bands no crime in this area just kidding Okay, so could be a lot of moves coming on Bitcoin soon, whether it's up or down, based on a lot of things. It seems like up would be the next thing, but you never know. It's not, there's no 100% in this market. All right, let's go to uh, Ethereum, which, wow, man, what a day today. Been doing nothing until recently. It's run, run up, and, and what is it doing? It's, it looks very, very clear on the four hour. You can't really tell in the daily because it's this one candle, but. It has been testing that 786, breaching it and pulling back. That's exactly where it reacted. Let me show you real quick. Are we coming in loud and clear? Everything's good. Just making sure, dude, I don't know. This is like, a, I can't really feel that confident about just, just going 
because there might be issues. But y'all can hear me. It's not like yesterday. Good. So this is the 78% retrace from your all-time highs to the COVID, I'm not all-time highs to the uh, correction low. Looking right, and as you can see, the correlation is impeccable. It's brilliant. There is nothing looking left. There's no resistance here. This is all in accordance to an invisible line that is a 78.6% retrace of Fibonacci number. Right? That's it. So it's somewhat consolidating there. Can we even say it's consolidating? It's just stalling for a brief moment in time. And what we're thinking is it'll, it'll break and it will go to the 886, which is over $4,000. Just based on context, man, there's nothing here. So you think you'd be getting up to, yeah, over 4K target still on this one. Even if like, think about it. If you talk about the measured move of the upsloping hyper bull flag, whatever, it's like $5,000 target eventually. I believe it with the NFT stuff. And uh, just the sentiment of crypto is really strong right now. Momentum really strong. Every, everything we need in crypto for higher prices exists right now. Higher highs, higher lows. Higher highs, higher lows. Everywhere. Yeah, turn down the audio or the music just a little bit. Uh, should be better now. Really don't want that audio to be overbearing. I mean, I get it. Everyone likes music, but at the same time, I, I normally liked it because I was always getting a buzz in the background on my mic, and this is a new one. So, all right. So that's Ethereum. Look, look at the. We, you know, what do you want to look at? The weekly was unbelievably bullish, bullish engulfing candle in the midst of being painted right now, and I think you know by week's end, three days, two hours. We very well might be testing 39.29, the highest weekly candle close of all time. It is upon us. It is so close. Why would we not check? I think I think we got. There's a real good chance it's gonna happen. At least to test it, fail, go to zero, or test it, break, and go to 5,000. But it's it is upon us. All right. Not overbought on the weekly. Can you believe that? Ethereum is sitting at 67.35 on the weekly. You have to understand that is so freaking bullish. That that's what gives you confidence to believe that a measured move of the bull pull bull flag combination could be hit. Again, five thousand dollars. So, and then we, we just have to because this one's been such a star lately. We have to look at the Ethereum to Bitcoin pair. People get on to me for not looking. You know, it's, it's pulled back a little bit today. Yeah, I could understand. Bitcoin had a really nice uh, pump last night. Where, I mean, it was up, what, $1,400 or something like that? While Ethereum was doing, it was actually pulling back. It was selling off a little bit. And so you could understand Ethereum and Bitcoin might have the same type of reaction. It was overbought. It just seems like it's maybe resetting. Once Ethereum breaks the 786 and runs to 4100 you can imagine this stops selling and runs up to 8.5 million sats. Really good. And then if you weren't here yesterday for the spaceship stream, hopefully some of you new viewers enjoyed it for the first time. And then, you know, hopefully all of the technical issues fell away with the hairs from you new trim. Glad to see you are happy. Cheers, buddy. What's up near moon boy. Thanks, man. Oh, I'm, I'm real happy. I'm going to Atlanta tomorrow. And then Saturday, going to watch Alabama curb stomp Miami for the first time in 30 years when Alabama beat Miami. And the Heisman Trophy winner, Gina Toretta, in the National Championship 1992. Looking forward to that. And I can't wait to watch some college football tonight. You know, we got a decent amount of games. Tennessee is playing, and then Ohio State is playing. NC State is playing. Excited. If you missed the spaceship stream, that's why there's a VOD. Check it out. I think you would enjoy it. I did a little acting. It was bad, but it was never about being good at acting. Okay. It was just about acting, period. Right? So, right? What it butting up against a major inflection point chat from May of 2018. What happened? Again, for the third time, 
you reacted there, right? You, you've, you've pulled back a little bit, doesn't mean it's over, but when you, you pull back, you made a higher low in the previous discernible swing lows. This is, I mean, you can say falling wedge breakout, but now what is it turning into? This is a very, like, it, it's pretty good. It's actually not too bad. The valleys are pretty proportionate to each other. This one's a little shallow. I think anything a little shallow is good. And two peaks. I mean, you, you could argue that there is a potential three rising valleys on Ethereum dominance. And you know the target, if and, and the confirmation line, just wow, dude. The confirmation line of this potential Bulkowski structure just happens to be the 2018 inflection point. So you could co clearly understand what will happen to this asset if it ever breaches. Measure move? Yeah, you'll probably double the measure move. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Uh, Because the next level is 24.87% market cap dominance for Ethereum. It takes you just short of that to 24.38%. I mean, there there are definitely reversals up here like that have happened. The candle high close February of 2018 was 24.87. So could you understand why? A parabolic uptrend, undeniable trend. So you're, what's happening? The presentation of a bullish pattern and a bullish trend can oftentimes be reliable. And if it is reliable and starts playing out, it can oftentimes outperform. So would if it outperformed, wouldn't it make sense it goes a little bit higher? just to see the next level of inflection? Yes. So have your alert set up on Ethereum.d because when Ethereum starts going for, you know, 4,100, 3929, at least on the weekly, this might very well be getting broken. So very, very good stuff, man. Awesome. So, oh, yeah. How's Total doing? Total's doing something, chat. It really is. I like Total. We all like Totals. So, with their, or Total is getting back inside that channel. You know, you fell out of it. You've been out of it for a while. You're just making higher lows or whatever. You broke it. You're back <laughs> testing it now. Hey, Mitch. Another one of my requests on my FavEGS coin, Veracity. Vrout, Q coin. Next target for this so I can game plan. Also shout to my North Carolina State Wolf Pack. Please don't suck this year. What do you mean they won eight games last year and they're playing a team that lost eight games last year tonight? I have money on that game. It's a it's a teaser. I got Alabama, Ohio State, and NC State all teased together, ten points. So all NC State has to do is win by nine. Dude, I don't think you understand how bad South Florida is. And, and, you know, NC State's returning their quarterback, their coach. Everything's good, man. It'll be fine. And if not, whatever. Leprechaun tip $21. Hex. What's up, Leprechaun? Thanks for 21. We'll look at Hex. Thanks, dude. Dang right, we're talking teasers. College football season equals teasers. It works, man. Okay, so going back to totals real quick. Very, very big deal, all right? So the area, I mean, clear as day. April 14th, April 16th, April 17th of this year. Peaks, major reversals. What is this asset total doing? It's above them. It's consolidating at it and trying to separate. No, it's LTC, part 245. Hit the bro button one time. Bruh. Yes, it is. The target is $245 on Litecoin. I take it you're a patron saying no, that. Was, no, you were pinged today. Can we that. look at STMX? What's up, uh, Gosu? Yeah, we'll look at it. Thanks for the contribution. 2136, man. All right. So, I, I, you can't see anything here. This doesn't even make sense. 2.3 trillion on the four hour, but it's about the daily, right? It's the daily. Isn't it? Oh, it's the it's the wick high. And it's a little off because I'm really scaled in. It's right here. Right there, man. And this is off too. Dang, man. Sorry. When you scale out, it makes it look like it's way off. It's really not. It's infinitesimally off. But hey, it helps you get it perfect. I don't really trust the anchoring. I've seen the anchoring. The you know the magnets of the anchoring screw up a lot. That's why I like manually doing it. Anyway, so you can clearly see what's happening. This would be the you know 
the first time traders settled up above this $2.2 trillion area since the date of May 14th. Above this level, there's nothing till the wick pretty much. And so we almost got there anyway today when things were at their peaks, right? 2.3 trillion above that. Whoa, look out. We got the candle high close at 2.4 trillion. You could imagine at 2.4 trillion where these assets are. Ethereum probably leading the way. Bitcoin testing $53,000 up these levels. How insane is that, you know? What is, let's think about this for a sec. So total, you're off your all-time highs at the highest point. 15.4%, all right? And let's go to Bitcoin and see what's up with Bitcoin. How far away is Bitcoin from its all-time high right now today as I'm speaking to you? Bitcoin is off its all-time highs by 30%. Goodness. So based on the amount of money that's coming to Ethereum and altcoins, and if it stays and money continues, if that trend continues, right, Bitcoin will certainly not be at all-time highs by the time total hits all-time highs. Altcoins, man, altcoins are very real. There's real serious money going into them based on this correlation right here. Don't ignore it. Yeah, hold on, I gotta, give me a sec. All right, here's the uh, Patreon link, just posting it, pinning it. So, uh, you know, if you want to support the stream, that is single-handedly the best way to do it. And when, when you support the stream by joining the Patreon, you get so much value. You get ridiculous value. You get the trade setups, the education, and the connectivity to a bunch of other traders looking for the, for the same things I'm looking for on stream. It's like a 24-hour stream, but for the Discord and for, you know, swing trading, all markets. Okay, so um, I just, I don't know, we're just going into a little bit more in depth with things going on in these markets, and then we can, let's look at a notable gainer today, IOTA, that breached a very critical resistance. An inflection point from 2018 right here is, yep, July 2018, look at your price action, straight down, straight up, straight down, okay, straight up again. So now you're at another inflection point, and it's not, the candle, it's the candle high close on the four hour from February. And then there's like, you know, obviously it was support before and you're, you're at it. You were trying to breach it earlier. If you do break it, I mean, I think you could very well see and at $2 starting to run out of major resistance points on this one. But what a wedge it was, hidden bullish divergence in the end. It was nice, man. It was it was really nice down slipping consolidation. And there are some other assets that exist out there right now that are showing very similar, maybe even more developed Downsloping structures like this that again they haven't taken off yet and they could be opportunity uh one real quick that sticks out to me i'm just kind of free balling here all right i think you would appreciate it is eos look at this chat i mean this is it eos is showing a very bullish consolidation structure up against a major inflection point that goes not just back to february 2021 you go further back this is it chat okay february of 2020 Look, inflection, reversals in 2019, all kinds of support resistance here from uh, 2018. This is it. So once this asset absorbs the remaining supply at 530 to 550, the upside target 666 to 682. All right, so there is a lot of upside on EOS if it can break out of the structure. I mean, this is so bullish. I really love the local high or low. I love the the you know how it regards the 200 moving average on the four hour support not once but twice and it's now just butting up against the supply line and the inflection point at the same once this breaks dude boom pulls an iota just like iota okay crypto momentum driven asset class momentum i'm showing you staring you in the face the momentum is what not bearish it's bullish All right, so what's another notable gainer today? Tron, oh my God, chat, Tron. It's our, I posted this last night, pinged all patrons about it, right? But like, this is it. Tron would will probably be on its way 
to 14 cents eventually from where we are right now. There is nothing here. It's straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. It could very well go straight up again. Don't be surprised that this has a headline day. But this was like, you know, before it even broke out, it looked like that too. It's right there. Look, there's this one little wick that it is above currently. You can barely tell. It's above this April 2018 high. It's certainly above where traders set it up on the close. I mean, there's just, you get this, Tron could go berserk again, and it wouldn't be weird. Notable gainer today, but also notable potential upside. Tron, V Chain doing things. V Chain doing things. Multi month highs today hit its highest level since June 3rd. Approaching that second target of the major bullish bullish shark pattern, right? A and C. But once once C gets broken, it's kind of like a Tron, like a Tron thing again. Tron situation where there's very little to no overhead resistance until much much higher prices. So. It's hard to strategize being like, oh, I'm just going to randomly take profit at 18 cents. No, it's like there's nothing there really on the daily on significant time scales. 20 cents, psychological, 21 cents. No, it's actually 22 cents. Just a couple highs you can see from 27th April, May 2nd. So, uh, but really 25 cents is where it could be headed in time. Momentum strong, bullish consolidation. Talk about a, this was like a descending triangle pennant situation here. It was just... Big impulse up, consolidation, that's down sloping-ish, and you've broken out, clearly broke the supply line, and now it's time to continue what it what it started. Nice one, V-Chain. All right, so Leprechaun wanted Hex. He gets Hex, all-time highs. It's a rerun, dude. This, this stream is a rerun. Sorry, it's the same thing every day where it just keeps hitting all-time highs, highest levels ever. Just on this four-hour candle, hit its highest price ever, 29.58 cents. And again, all we can say about this is the 2618 at 35 cents. There is nothing else here. There's, uh, You could say 30 cents because psychological, but if we're talking about Fibonacci, we're talking about overhead resistance, there is no more overhead resistance. It doesn't exist anymore. It eventually will manufacture some when it reverses, but it's just going straight up. and. It's in price discovery mode. That's what it's doing. I mean, Tron's in pseudo price discovery because of the historical price action correlation to trend lines is straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down for like double digit percentage points. So, I mean, you have like pseudo price discovery on like ICX, um, V chain soon. If it breaks that one last level, Tron, IOTA did it, right? You break these certain levels, you can just go insane. I mean, I think Doge is kind of at a point where it, there's nothing lo left to do but to go to 36 cents. Dude, there's just so much going on here. Keep K E E P is like above an inflection point, just hanging out, making higher lows. And it's like the last thing that it ha has to do is just impulse up the markup, markup watch. So yeah, congrats, Hex, over and over and over, keeps respecting the TA. But now it's like, oh, let's, when can we get another structure that we can look at and say, hey, there might be an opportunity here, like there was many times before. Many times, like almost, it's just like every few weeks to a month, there's a bullish pattern that develops that one could take advantage of every month or two. So. Now we're just, we would be waiting for another opportunity, but yeah, it's marking up from the double bottom. It's beautiful. Anyway, uh, so, oh, oh my God, dude, just, you thought that was it? No, nah, dude, ONT already broken out. All, I mean, 132, yeah, 132 and beyond. Much, much higher levels, much, much higher levels. There's not really much of anything here till 132. 2016 burger tells me that crypto is going nowhere today same burger asks me how i changed my life imagine being a no coiner right now hashtag citadel oh i couldn't imagine being a no coiner nor me that that really judges the coiners the people with crypto like we're like it's weird or wrong or strange and it's like noise, huh? noise. Have fun staying poor. It's like, that's it, Loving dude. Patreon, Mitch. Great community, education, and very funny people. Shout out to Nick Haslam for introducing me this channel. And Malcolm McLeod, Tennis Legends. 
Can we please have a look at hot slash USD? Thanks, Playing brother. tennis, dude. Thank you, Raven Club. Thank you, uh, Nick H, for introducing a Raven Club to the channel. Malcolm McLeod, the tennis legend. Yes, we will look at hot. Thank you, man. I'm glad you're enjoying the Patreon. Right? Um, you know, something's happened the first time in like eight months. We fell below a thousand patrons, you know. God forbid I talked about it, right? Hey, J Box, thanks for joining the Patreon. A few moments ago. Thank you, dude. Thanks to all the patrons who joined uh, in between the stream yesterday and this stream. But, um,. Yeah, if we hit a thousand patrons again. So I'm supposed to be going to Vegas with that moon boy. Next week. Like next, yeah, like the ninth or whatever. If we get a thousand patrons by then, I will do an IRL stream in Vegas. So it's just I guess an incentive. It doesn't really matter. But it's like, hey, if we're gonna do it, why not have a some sort of goal? You know? So I don't think anyone cares really, but it's just a you know, camaraderie thing, the community. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I, I was planning on just going to Vegas and not doing much streaming, you know, just going out and enjoying it. But anyway, so you can book that. We'll see what happens. Okay. Do we have a good request, right? Yeah, several requests. Sup, Mitch, can you take a look at ANC? ANC or AMC? Did you misspell San Jose? Galleton? Because we'll look at ANC if you want. But that's something that no one requests. Alright, what's this first request on the docket? Okay. Some S coin that someone came in shilling like really hardcore. I remember one time it was a trade setup. It was freaking fantastic. But yeah, it's mooning again. I mean, sure, it looks like crypto momentum. Look what it did. It back tested an old resistance as support. Confirmation, just like what Cardano did before it blasted off, and now it's headed to the next levels. It's on its way to 4.5 to 4.8 cents. And that's probably where you'll catch a reaction. It's not done yet. It's it's on its way, it's almost there. So yeah, there was one time we looked at it and it was beautiful. Double bottom, obviously quintupled plus the measured move. Uh, but yeah, it's very, very strong right now. And we'll probably continue to those levels and that's probably where you'll pull back. There's like no action to take literally right now as I'm speaking to you. It was probably a great opportunity here where there was hidden bullish divergence at the inflection point. What was holding it was pretty interesting there. That's it. So cool. On its way to 4.5 to 4.8 cents. Thank you very much. Speaking of the the devil, man, it's Nick H. Arabian Pleb, did you plan this? Shipping <laughs> coupons in the stock market. Join the Patreon for self-actualization, surfer. Excellent, man. Self-actualization. That's like the top of the. What is it, uh, Haslow's hierarchy of needs? It's like the top, and it's like a lot of people don't ever get there. So, yeah. Maslow connects? Yeah, dude. Maslow, Haslow, Raslow, whatever. Okay. Anyway, uh, thank you, dude, for the freaking $159.99 Australian dollars, mate. So I was looking at my next request. Was eggs? We looked at. It. I was gonna Litecoin now. Litecoin's target, yes, 2.45. Is that even a request, man? It's like a rectangle double bottom. Up three percent today, yet yeah, nearing the top of the structure of consolidation. You're just looking at it like that, right? I mean, nice, really nice bullish divergence locally. Hidden divergence from this low to the next low. That is strong, dude. And look. Remember that one time it back tested 145 and we knew that was the insane inflection point? It was so powerful and you ran straight up to the next level. It was so good. TA being respected so much above the 200 moving average. Everything's good, man. So once the consolidation structure breaks, 
Uh, you might test uh, 195 for a little bit. That's like that high from June 3rd. Uh, but really, man, the target's 245. There's just very little there. And just you have to go with it. Aggressive targeting and really bullish conditions where the momentum's so strong, it's okay to be aggressive. Yep. We know what kind of trend's going on right now. That's a bullish one. So that's it, dude. Yeah. Just to reiterate what you said, you said price target, 245. Question mark? Answer mark. And above that, ooh, my God, $315. All right, just another. There are multiple assets that look almost identical to Litecoin right now, NEO being one, XRP similar, Zcash, I believe, is also in the same situation. They all have tremendous upside if this is confirmed. Would require Bitcoin probably breaking 50,365 and continuing its ascent. Yeah, Rashida gave you a shout out at the beginning of the stream. I don't know if you saw it or not. Okay, next uh, request. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei! So on this coin that is above a major inflection points. Oh yeah, dude, the upside on this is almost unlimited. <laughs> Where this asset is, is so good. Oh my God, dude. It's like bullish canary behavior, but it's really just, I don't think there's any real major overhead resistance until six cents. So this thing could go up 85 plus percent from here. Anything above 2.9 to 3 cents is potential moon because based on historical price action correlation, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. You have one pivot there. But we're looking at those overhead resistances. Six cents is the target on this one. Now I'd come down one more time and really just touch that three cent area and then get yourself a three rising valleys, a Bulkowski structure. Oh man, yeah, this one's broken out. <clears throat> it isn't, it's back tested, I guess. It has confirmed the bottom, but I think it could get a little bit more perfect. I don't know, it's pretty good there. This is, no yeah, worries. like one, if they own this, there's just a stop probably below just the previous coin, local please. low, and it's then they're swinging for the fence on this one. It's so Colorado Daily Trader. Kings. Yeah, BTT, that's an old trade setup, right? I mean, we found that one at the bottom the very bottom it was showing everything you could ever dream of yeah we'll look though where's the big ticker it's literally right there milk football you you definitely type a lot before you think i'm learning this two days in a row now you're right dude thank you all right upside is extreme on this one until you fall below the previous local low at 2.7 cents. That's it, very bullish. You have your targets, you know, your stop outs. That's what else could you want from an analysis, man? Besides me just plotting so you can see the inflection point that it's well above, that you want it to stay above forever now. Next one was hot. Yeah, dude, chill with the shilling of Hex, man. Like, relax, dude. We know you're obsessed with it and you've literally, you know, sold your soul to Hex. We know. We don't, no one needs you to, like, advertise it like that in this stream, dude. No one needs that from you. No one, okay? Hot is incredible. It broke its major inflection point, its consolidation structure, and the target here, undeniably, is 1.7 cents eventually. Yep, overhead resistance up there. Okay, you want me to paint it? Here, here's your beautiful structure. Wow, it was a bull flag. We've seen a couple of these before, haven't we? Yep. It's nice. Really, really nice stuff. Love this little local higher low right there on the last day of the month. Before blast off, God, pay attention to those, man. Those higher lows like that are awesome. You know, one just sticking out in my brain right now from some scanning. What else did this that has yet to break out, but soon will break out? Bitcoin Cash doing the same little higher low thing. People be like, inverse sudden shoulders context is weird. Just think about it like a bull flag. It's a friggin' bull flag on Bitcoin Cash that just made that 
not a partial decline because it doesn't make sense here, but it's that higher low. It's the momentum shifting. It's the confirmation low and the confirmation low is accumulation. And now you're just butting up against one last little resistance till $752. And then after that, $850. Bitcoin cash looks exceptional above 617. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Above this level is stupid bullish. If you were talking about a bull pull bull flag measure move that this thing could be going to over a thousand dollars again, like not even kidding. I would think like your hard target on Bitcoin cash is 850. 850, you can go back to 2018. Yeah, big target here. Like that's a big resistance, not a joke. July, multiple times in July of 2018, you had, you had a low in March, 2018. Uh, look at this low from November 2017 and then a candle high close the first time ever, August 2017. You understand how important 850 to 875 is. That's where this asset is probably headed from here. Where we are now, it still has what's the upside potential if it's going to run to that next level and the breakout almost seems imminent now. We're talking 28 to 31% upside from here. It's beautiful, dude. It really is like textbook. It might be one to write a seminar. Bitcoin Cash writing a seminar on bull flags. All right, so pay attention to this one. Don't like ignore it. Of course, Bitcoin dumps. It's not going to break out, but Bitcoin just hangs out. I think some bids will come into this one and break the supply line and we'll be it'll go up probably pretty fast. Hold on a sec. I'm glad you liked the spaceship stream, E Force. Thanks for the feedback, man. Feedback's good. Doge is bullish technically right now. Doge is actually slightly better than Bitcoin Cash. Not really, but kind of. They're similar in ways. You know, here's Bitcoin Cash, right? And then you, here's Doge. Dogecoin is has broken out already. It broke out, chat. It's like it's a little pennant. But anything above 28, or it's just 29 cents. 28.9 cents is 29 cents, pretty much. That is it. That, that's the level we've been monitoring forever. I mean, ever, ever since it was made and we were correlating to it, you're above it. So the look at the price action correlation between 29 cents and 36 cents. Straight up, straight down, 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 straight up, straight down. Didn't quite make it this time. That's okay. That's how we know where the target is from here. I think if this breakout was real, it was a down sloping breakout, but it was also a horizontal line breakout. A multitude of breakouts, really powerful. That's what Bitcoin did when it broke uh, 40K. It was a supply line from all time highs and a horizontal line from February, January of this year. So if this can sustain above 29 cents, the upside potential on Doge from right here, even where it is now, Talking like 23 to 25% upside. It's all about the technicals, all about the levels, man. You're above a critical level in any, and really the threshold is probably just that local low, 27 cents. But again, I don't want to see this asset fall below 28.9 cents based on what it's done historically. If it falls below it, look at how far it goes down. It can go to 23 cents if it breaks 29 cents. So you know how to strategize your risk here on Doge. Three to one, of course. I think there is like three to one around this, these levels. Like, I just don't want to mess with the asset. I'm gonna be a little loose too on it, you know? It's so simple. Four to one, if you wanted to be conservative, you could be, you could get three to one and still have a stop around uh, 27.5 cents, well below the inflection point that we need to be above. So this man, I would, I'm just telling you, it's, it's doing what other assets are doing too right now, with breakouts, like ONT, but I'm just, it's there. Just identifying it for you. Anthony, me too. I thought maybe that was going to happen. Just kidding. I got y'all. Everyone having a good day, man. Everyone hanging in there. It's Thursday. There's only one day left. All right, let's look at ANC. Not AMC. 
Oh, it's an S coin. Ah, of course it is. AMC. The poor man's AMC. It was created to trick a bunch of people into thinking it's AMC. I don't know, man. It looks like it's consolidating like a lot of other things. And, you know, it's a major inflection point at $3.90. If you can break that, you could very well see uh, 561. I don't know, that Trend's terrible. Uh, like what? Is there more data or something? No, Ooh, I think sure, I think 390 will be the next target if it continues Next to rally. It's making higher lows like the rest of the macro. What's up, uh, Regis? Regis, thank you for the 20. Yes, we will look at it. All right. Sorry to hear that, Bino Squad, man. Life is precious. Hey, uh, Sergio. Sorry, I missed it, man. Thanks for joining the Patreon. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Please be sure to stick with the Patreon on the Discord, because that's where all the value is. That's where the trade setups are, and the exclusive Discord. Let's go. Very good. So 31 patrons away for an IRL Vegas stream when I go down there next week. If we don't get there by then, it's not gonna happen. It's just something that will happen if that happens, okay. Next request, what? Dude, again, like, what do you want from me? It looks like kind of some other coins and it's trying to pivot here and it's probably gonna go test 390. I don't know if it breaks it, but if it does break it, it could very well run up to the April 9th and April 15th highs at 561, that's, that's it. I'm not. There's a lot of other assets that aren't anchor protocol that I can long and it's gonna have more liquidity and I don't have to worry about it being anchor protocol. Disgusting. All right. Well, there it is, BTT. Remember that time we'd identified a bull, pull, bull flag combination and the breakout happened? It, it happened. I needed to adjust. I haven't been here since. I move it down a little bit. There you have it. The breakout, not just the uh, flag, but the inflection point. Oh my God, BTT. May 26th, June 3rd. Like a lot of other assets had those two highs. You're above it and there's nothing there until seven tenths of one penny. We've been looking at it on the daily. The hidden bullish divergence was there. It's still there. And it hasn't even gone positive on momentum yet. Wow, man. That is spectacular. Development. It will be a candle close confirmation breakout. It did that before and couldn't sustain. Yeah, it had to reset on the oscillators. It was too overbought. It's reset chat. We've reset, we back tested the 200 day moving average as support and not once but twice on the daily. This is it. The target uh, is up here. It's like just this random candle high close from April 27. That's why I've been marked there. That's where it's headed, most likely. So we're talking like most likely upside potential is still like 54%. Absolutely amazing. Technical breakout occurring today on BTT. Bit torrent. Tron's, I don't know, Tron's making. Something to do with Tron. Next one was this. The real Ethereum. You want to talk about a bull flag? Look no further than this one. This is some sort of bull flag. This is some sort of bullish consolidation here on the daily. It's not like perfect, but uh, it, you can't argue. There's hidden bullish divergence developing on the daily. Impending price action continuation implied. Back to the histogram. And you're above an inflection point <clears throat> uh, from June 30th, which we would I would consider this a bad action magnet move meaning high probability of 886 upside. Dude, we're talking like 80 bucks. Okay, yes, 80 bucks is your shorter term target, but eventually, I mean, 
we could be seeing 120 again or 133 again the highest candle close of all time on the daily this one is setting up man momentum is extremely strong on this it broke a major level from july 1st and has held it successfully as support and you're above it still anything above it real good for 80 bucks but above 80 is psycho upside potential there you go that's the last request i mean this is a trade setup so keep exceptions for the poor dude me i i go live and look at assets the whole stream what are you talking about Poor people can watch this stream and gain tremendous benefit. Their lives can change forever watching this content. So, yeah, really. Yeah, why if I wasn't good enough for the poor people, the literal welfare trade setup posted live on stream, hit target, the first target anyway. I guess we might make it a short stream and it's like Patreon night tonight, you know. it could never ex I mean it did exceed an intraday but major pullback I mean from the wick high of almost eight thousand dollars yeah this is gonna happen you consolidate and hopefully eventually whenever it begins to pivot it's making a higher load than the previous lows and runs again it hits that second target of 8573 and maybe if we're lucky a third target of nearly ten thousand dollars yeah man it's beautiful Yeah, but this is keep the one I was talking about major bullish and wow look at that look at this textbook daily rising three methods that is textbook there is no ifs ands or buts about it beautiful continuation pattern I keep we keep seeing more and more of these huh the market maker out there digging this structure the five Japanese candlestick pattern and yesterday had your highest daily candle close since June 19th on the way down and the upside could take it to 62 cents eventually yes eventually not overbought so much upside it's at 61.5 dude this is stage is set it's either gonna up thrust and go back to 23 cents or it stays like this holds and then goes to 62 cents moving oh my god I'm the most surprised person that ever existed on this planet hearing about ONT moving there is nothing really there on ONT it could just fly and wouldn't be weird Please check mint banks 0 0.00040473 BTC. Which Ray, thank you for the 20 bucks of crypto. <clears throat> Bitcoin. Sure. MMAT. Oh, man, it's pretty nice, dude. Golden Voice Jesus tip $25. What's up, Jeremy? What's up, Mitch? Everyone join the Patreon. You won't regret it. He's right, you know. Thank you, dude, for the advocacy of the Patreon. Uh, I really appreciated it. Yeah, I mean, it's, again, it's be very, very life-changing. 
So, MMT, I guess, I mean, I've been here before. It's up 10% after hours. It was up 16% today. Wow. So, above 479, there's not much anything there until, yeah, that's it. Your target's $8 here. Anything above 479 is $8. Just based on historical price action, I mean, right? Straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. Ah, oh, so straight up again. That that's easy, easy, right? Easy targeting eight dollars, and then after that, if it ever broke eight dollars, uh, ten thirty-seven ish. Those are your levels. And it bottomed out after like a 98 percent retrace, and just started rallying. Semiconductors. Hmm. Do y'all see car? What is it car sales like plummeting to lowest levels ever or something because of, or you know, yeah, because of the semiconductor shortages? Like lower than it was at the low point of the, the nadir of the global financial crisis. Oh yeah, we didn't look at Cardano or Binance today. I gotta do that. So that, that's it. Those are your levels. I mean, what else can I do, man? It's 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 up collectively 25% on the day. You know. Hey, Mitch, how's SNX looking? What's up, Noah, man? Uh, we'll look at it. Let me let me pull up Cardano and Binance, the two you know, number three and number four. Which Binance we know is going, you know, if we have that target, it's been the same, it hasn't changed. It eventually will make its way, you think, to $600. If it's going to complete the complex wave structure, right, where you are right now, there's, I mean, there's a low, you know, from April 19th. Um, but whatever, it's kind of today regarding the candle low close as support. Hmm. So I, I think the target's $600 to $637. Still, that hasn't changed since it broke August 10th's level. We knew we'd go to 428. If you ever broke 428, probably 600 plus dollars. And it's on its way. It's just taking its time. It happens. Binance, then Cardano. That's up 3% today. Hit the 1414 Fib extension. Beautiful. Certainly no value, but it is in price discovery mode. It has reset its oscillators, right? It has. It was overbought on, on the daily. It's currently not overbought. It's sitting at 68.8. So there could be more upside. The next target, if it can ever break three dollars for real, three oh seven, which is the one four one four. The one point six one eight is three dollars and thirty seven cents. And above that, man, you got nothing but the zeros and the fives. I think uh, above three thirty seven is like four dollars, and then the two six one eight is four eighty four. Can you look at Matic Polygon? Thanks, you're the best. Thanks for the five dollar super chat. can't censor you for quoting the president of the United States. Uh, did you not see what happened the last four years? Like that's like literally what happened to everybody. Anyway, so I don't even know what's going on. I'm just reading something. I find that ironic and funny. Okay, so we looked at Cardano and Binance. Now we'll go to SNX. Oh yeah, SNX looks great. Looks wonderful. It, it to me looks like it's setting up to go test 351 to $14 again, and once $14 breaks, boom, insane run, crazy run. Like 2261 once SNX. So it's like a, probably absorbing the remaining supply right now. Wow, really nice bullish convergence. Yep, bullish convergence going on on the daily. It's gonna head to 350 to 14 again, and once that. Supplies absorbed, gone, right? The upside from breakout of that inflection point would take you up 60%. So please pay attention to $14, one, have an alert set up because once 14 breaks, boom. Straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. Okay, momentum is strong on this one like many others. It's in an uptrend, absorbing the remaining supply. The daily looks uh, incredible. Looks really, really good. Sitting at 56, a lot outside. It's not in the bullish control zone yet, but you know, whatever. Bitcoin has to not completely get wrecked. And that's what will probably happen on this one. That's it, man.
14 bucks, you break it, boom, gone. Moon time. And that was it. That was the last request that met the minimum criteria. Chris M says, love your stream. Big fan of the TA. Keep it going. Massive Cheers to Canada. Yeah. Thank you, Chris, man, for the mug perch. Uh, perch and dice. What's up, Tails, dude? Matic, Polly. Uh, which one is that? What ticker is that? There's like Polly, then there's Matic, then there's this, there's that. It's like, what are you talking Like, which one is it, man? Because it says Matic Network, but then there's Polygon to tether. Which one? Why is it different? Why has it got to be like this? All you need to know about this one is 163. It's uh, in the dead middle of two ranges, between, or two zones, two levels of inflection between 124, 125, and 163. Once 163 is broken, boom, gone. See you at uh, 221. It looks fine. Hidden bullish divergence looks like it's in the midst of developing from the low to the next low. Yeah, a little broke its uptrend. It's, uh, it's okay. Still made a technical higher low than the August 18th level. Bounced off the 200 moving average. Tested it for the first time since July 29th. Very good. I uh, need to recapture your previous highs, your local ones. August 27th hasn't done that yet. Probably needs some help from Bitcoin. Um, it's almost like a mini dragon, all right? Like one foot, the second foot, the hump, the spine, you broke out of the dragon, the mini dragon. And again, the target would be 163 to 170. Above that, I, I, mean, I don't know if you're gonna break that, but I do know what will happen if it does break. It could go tremendously higher. Thin up trim, man. What's up, D-Rug? Thanks, man. Noise, noise! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dude. If you're enjoying the live stream, hit that like button, that bell, that sub. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, also, there were a lot of people that joined between yesterday's stream and this one. I guess people like the spaceship stream. Someone said they joined the Patreon because I did a Star Wars stream yesterday. FTM 4 hour. Almost golden cross on daily. We'll look at it. That one, Phantom, was already has gone berserk so i don't doubt there's probably anything that crazy going on a golden cross who cares it's a lag indicator there's no action to take on ftm because there's a golden cross because it went so berserk so fast yeah the moving averages speed up crossover bullishly so real quick meaty pd ben man jma merrick matt jeremy n alan j alexander h blaine Song Siren, Joshua S, J Peterman, Bendar J, Russian Letters, Lux. Thank you all for joining the Patreon between yesterday's stream and this stream. The spring goes a lot. Thank you. So again, we're sitting at like 969 patrons. We've broken a thousand patrons for the first time since December of 2020. So times are tough. Times are real tough, chat. Been correcting, I guess you could say. I don't know though, man. God, like, what the heck can I do? Like, uh, the trade setups have been so effing good. Like, it, I don't think it has anything to do with like no, the trade no, setups. It's just took profit on lack. Thank you for the continued education. If you haven't already, please join the Patreon. It pays for itself if you invest in yourself. CB, thanks for the 20 and the advocacy for the Patreon. Much love, dude. Took profit on lack. You did it, man. I don't know if that's some sort of request or it's just you're just saying that. Thank you, dude. And congrats if you held on to that one. Pause it, man. Screwed around a lot for that major breakout. Yeah, WTER killed it. Remember the it's the Garly. So we've been live uh, a little over an hour now, and uh, thanks for the 933 people tuned in. I got more patrons than I have concurrent viewers right now. How about that? So 
yeah, dude. Kind of a meh day after a spaceship stream. Whatever, did what I could. So, no pumps today, while I'm live anyway. And, um, coming back to Bitcoin <clears throat> for the first time since the beginning of the stream. You can just see it's uh, hanging out just below an inflection point that is visible on the daily. Once that's broken, there's very little resistance upward. Yeah, Crypto Denaro, he got you, dude. Dude. Little Patreon testimony piggyback. Once I joined, the value started flowing. The way I see it now, I can't afford not to stay. Thanks, man. Thanks, Go the Unwise, for the five, man. Much love. Yeah, if you invest in yourself, apply yourself, and you care about the trade of trading, yeah, dude, it is, it's an invaluable resource. If you're just there to just float along and do nothing, yeah, I mean, that's you're gonna do that with anything in life and see how how good it treats you, how well it is for you. It's not gonna go well. So if you care about investing yourself and learning about swing trading, you give me 30 days, it can change your life. Like 100%, there's countless testimonials to that, so. It's all right, I'll, uh, I'll just, wow. What's up, Bob, man? Disker. Thanks as always for all that you do. Can we look at Fisker? Yeah, didn't it used to be something else? Oh, I don't, I don't like it at all right here. Ugh, nothing really special. Nah, man, like, Fisker where it is, it's in the middle of the zones, right? I mean, nothing to 1176, unless you can somehow rally back above 1540. I don't like it. I'm just, are you talking about there's probably a harmonic or something? Then fine. The PCZ is probably going to be around $12, 1176. Yeah, man, I just don't really dig it here. I don't really dig it here. I don't think it's a harmonic. I don't even think that was deep enough for retrace. I mean, you could say X, A, B, C. If that's true, then the PCZ potentially is at 1176. That's all you can say. I don't, I don't really... It's hard to argue. I mean, is there divergence? Maybe there's a little divergence rallying. But anything below $15 to 1540, I want nothing to do with it. Nope, I don't like it there. I don't like it where it is, contextually. Sorry, right, man. Thank you for the hundred dollars. That I really appreciate that. Thank you, man. Bob, see you. If you're a new patron, remember tonight we have like a little hangout, a pregame. I do normally do like an, a, a night stream that just, it's so nonchalant. It's like almost no, hanging out with voice chat. Can we look at Bpro, value area and testing 200 ma for support? Thanks, Brohemius. What's up, Conrad? Thank you, dude. The 20. Uh, sure. Trade setup. It's incredible. It's like hidden bullish divergence is certainly in development on the daily on both oscillators. You're above 9.2 to 9.87 tenths of one penny. Anything above that is really bullish, right? What did B Pro do? It ran up and did what? It hit the first target of the trade setup and reversed all the way back to near the entry. That happens, man. People take profit at profit-taking levels. 
right? So you're fine. It bullishly engulfed yesterday with the hidden divergence. This is this is uh, entry stuff. This is where one could re-add or reaccumulate their position here off this combination of variables, right? Being well above the 200-day moving average, bullish engulfing candle, and hidden bullish divergence above the inflection point. That is one of the most important inflection points that exists on this chart from March 1st, April 18th, April 23rd. That's it. Yep, the, the target from here is 1.6 to 1.87 cents again. Yep, right back up to test that same level. Yes. Once you break 1.87 cents, then it's gone, dude. Then it's literally 2.83 cents. Huge upside on this one. Still very bullish trend for now. Until it falls below, you know, 9.3 tenths of one penny, it's, it's bullish as F. You have to be bullish until technical supports are broken and it's above all technical supports wow and showing an edge that sellers are sellers are implying that they are exhausted here at this level wow look out bears i would not want to be a bear in a situation on b pro dang dude oh yeah ftm sorry it's only been at the top of my watch list lately, right? Because it just kept mooning. Look at this, dude. Sitting at an inflection point. And it's not broken it. It did technically intraday hit all-time highs yesterday. And now a bunch of indecision after that. And it's look what it's doing on the daily. It's back testing this candle high close from May 1st as support. The day before was a bullish and golden candle. This is good. I mean, like, if it can, I, I, like, dude, this is certainly not an area to be establishing a long position, right? When you haven't broken out and you just run up, you just ran up 461% in 43 days. That is just, there's no value there. There's nothing screaming take a long now. It's it's actually really high risk to be taking longs these levels because the downside potential is so high, right? But if it breaks out, you got targets 118, 130, and then 146 is your 1.618. So, yeah, that's cool, dude. But sure, it could keep going. Like, they can always keep going, man. Sure, yeah, this thing's so strong. It's just butting up against the old all-time high resistance and engulfed bullishly in the 4-hour right here. But it is yet, it's not, can't, can't break it. It can't break 8.8 cents or 88 no, cents. Excuse me. Thoughts on code? Looks like it could be in a value area above a nice line. Oh, well, look, I don't really see anything that sticks out. And bearish divergence, and the bearish divergence hadn't really played out yet, so it could. I, I just, again, like, who cares? Like, if it breaks further upward, congratulations. Keep playing the numbers game. Pl trying, to, trying to long assets that just went up 460% in six weeks, five weeks, and they haven't broken out, keep doing that as a trader playing the real numbers game. You will not succeed. You will fail miserably in the end, right? But if you're the trader playing the numbers game, you're constantly trying to play big markdowns and then eventual spring back test to springs and the momentum, everything's shifting, you'll have a really good time as a swing trader. So this is just, these are not strategic entry areas, even though we understand if it does break, it could go pull crypto and keep going nuts there's no value it's high premium here okay hmm Kodak Kodak I've been here since Jeffrey Yoon requested it uh, value areas Man, I really like would like to see Kodak get back above 756. That would be that would make me really happy. Above 756, we we could be. I mean, it could still happen. I mean, you have obviously some sort of uh, harmonic here, right? Like an eight, I guess like a bat pattern maybe. Dang, dude, it's like closer to a freaking Gartley, but it's a Gartley Barley, right? The 886. Yeah, it's kind of a little shallow on C as well, so. If this asset 
can get back above seven dollars fifty six cents and hold it as support i think they could be actionable right there if that price action occurs look at the price action correlation straight up straight down straight up straight down straight up straight down and at one time it didn't straight up straight down straight up straight down i mean that's that's the potential target is 13 dollars if we can break back above 76 hold it as support successfully that would be your it's signal for China a long to me China. this hasn't happened China. yet so patience but keep your eye on Did it because it very well could be code. it probably is at value areas it's just i want to see it above the critical historical inflection points that would make things a lot better that would give you know a lot of market participants confidence to believe the bottom's in for more upside or for, for upside hey there's jeffrey man should have by now he's here he was lurking it depends, Jeffrey, from the things I just said, all right? That's it. All right, dude. What a stream. Been pretty, meh. Okay, no price action at all during the stream on anything. Too soon, spin. I don't know, man. I don't even know if I'm spinning tonight because I'm going to Atlanta tomorrow. I won't be able to stream, unfortunately, tomorrow or Saturday because I'll just be gone. And it's just like I'm going to be doing things. Um, so there's just no way. Like, I'll be hanging out with people and that I haven't seen, you know, in a long time. And it'll be a social thing and football thing. So, but I'll, yeah, I'll be right back at it on Sunday. Hey, Ricky, oh my god, the agility character from Dota. Thank you, Ricky, for joining. I'm gonna get a gem. Or I'm just gonna get dust and expose you. Thank you, dude, uh, for joining the Patreon. Be sure to sing on the Patreon and the Discord. If you're a patron and you're not in the Discord, you're literally doing it completely wrong. You're just joining the Patreon and supporting the stream, but you're not getting any of the value because you're not. You're deciding to not go to where the value is in the Patreon. It's in the Discord. That's it. So total still aiming to close in 21 minutes. Aiming to close at a higher level that it closed April 15th. That would be pretty big deal. I mean, I think that's huge, but we'll see. I mean, 21 minutes left, Bitcoin keeps pulling back. I mean, what if Bitcoin sells off? It could close at or below it. Yes, we have looked at Cardano. Yep, we sure have. You're gonna rewind the stream. No value on that one, but in price discovery mode. So it could continue, jeez. Been on quite a run since it bottomed down at that one dollar steel wall support. And you gotta look at this, dude. It's Ethereum. And after that momentous bull pull bull flag breakout yesterday, look at this. There's nothing looking left. There is no resistance here. It doesn't exist. It straight lines up and down the whole way through. But there's that one seven eight six Fibonacci node that is being tested like the Jesus man, and it has not breached, it's not been able to. So close though, it wants it so bad. It's like if Bitcoin performs any, like when Bitcoin was going up just a little bit, this thing was breaking it, it was so nice. So, this is not an inflection point really, it's just a Fibonacci notes. So, you, you oftentimes can react at 786s, 886s, those are the two that you could definitely experience reactions, so. Yeah, dude, again, like, I don't know how many times I have to say it, but yeah, there are impersonators of me on Instagram and YouTube, so unfortunately, most likely, high probability, I'm not going to follow you on Instagram. It's nothing personal. It's kind of just like business account. Anyway, so they're trying to make you think that I'm messaging you or I'm following you and like you trust me. I've built integrity over the past three and a half years. 
they're trying to use that integrity that we've built between each other to try to get you to try to get your crypto or your money. So don't fall for it, dude. They're just Nigerian scammers that have zero moral fiber. That's it. Please don't fall for the Instagram impersonators of me. They're they're you, you, you it doesn't matter. Like we'll we'll get them banned and then they just create new accounts. Countless new accounts. They they bought the the amount of followers I have, so it looks like mine. It almost looks identical. But it's not mine. This right here, at Mitch Ray T A. This nothing else. It's so plain. Mitch Ray T A. That's it. Anything else is a scam. I have to like really emphasize this because no, like I feel like I do this, and then every single day people are messaging me on Instagram, being like, "Is this you?" It's like, do you even watch my stream? Because I talk about it all the time. All right, dude, so I'll just get out of here with 18 minutes to go till the daily close. It's just one of those days, man. They can't all be spaceship, in incredible pump streams and stuff like that, can they? Nah, you gotta rest, you gotta consolidate, you gotta reset those oscillators on insignificant time skills, no big deal. So I'll just be back and tonight. So until next time, respect the T.
this record is a message to young people.